and welcome to the card market feature match live edition topple this is gonna be awesome so today i'm subbing in for arne who's usually here because uh, arne has got some uh emergent appointments to catch today but that doesn't mean it's gonna be any less fun well we'll see <laughs> wow that, that, that kind of root topple uh anyway what format are we playing well we're playing popper uh, as we record today, which you're going to see next week. Today is Poppy Day. So we're going to play, well, the Commons of Magic, you know? Yeah, and I, I, I was told by an anonymous source that you had to change deck last minute. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah. <laughs> Suddenly there was a bad Yeah, we now. chose deck list and then over the weekend there was like, surprise, Popper announcement. Like, yeah, I'm not going to play this initiative deck. And it was a good choice. It was a good <laughs> it choice. It was a very good choice. Yeah, they, they did not ban Counterspell. Ahead of its time. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe one uh, more thing before we get into the games is that starting next week, uh, we'll be moving to YouTube, right, for the live stream. Mm -hmm. This week we're still on Twitch, uh, you know, but starting next week, make sure that you're subscribed to our YouTube channel so you know when we'll go live, yada, yada, yada. But I assume most of you already are, right? Yeah, you're the right? good guys. The people who come later, though, are the bad okay. ones. All right. Don't tell them. <laughs> or do tell them. Actually, do tell them. <laughs> They should have been here, yeah. right now. Clip this and uh, do tell them. Yeah. All right, Toffel, are you ready to head into onto the battlefield? Uh, well, we're on the battlefield. You may roll a die first. All right, high roll? Okay. One, interesting. Yeah. That's a six. There, there are certain uh, psychological behaviors associated with people rolling one die. Hmm. That's a four. <laughs> Is it winning the die roll like I just did? Yeah. All right, I'll go first, Toffel. Good luck. Thank you. In case you didn't notice, this is our matchup. We oh. chose only the purest of colors to represent <laughs> yeah. our own emotional state of being. I'm pure. Mm, sure. You're basic. I'm, I'm pure. <laughs> I, I will not accept. Hmm. This is a bit awkward because it's really... Hmm. It's really, mm. it's quite, it's really slow, I feel like. That's gonna be fine. That, that's gonna, what could ever go wrong? Yeah, I, I, I don't think this is what I'm after, but being on the play and taking a mulligan is so punishing. Hashtag team never mulligan. Team never mulligan. Um, so that's why I will mulligan. Mm. <laughs> How did that feel? Very bad, Toffel. I know. You know, that's why I never mulliganed. Mm. The good part is, now you mulligan, right? Yeah. And how does it feel? Not good. No. But it will keep on feeling not good for the whole game. Because yeah, you're it, it, I, I really signed myself up for the most amount of... Yeah. So now look at the other part. You don't mulligan. You lose quickly. Then it's just over. Yeah. You look to the next game. I'll try again. It's just human, like, science. I won't get intimidated by you, Toffel. What do you mean intimidated? That, that's much better, I tell you. Um, now, I have to bottom a card. I think it's... This one. It's one of these two, I think. Um, the question is... Is my third land drop very important? I, yeah, no, I feel like it's this card. Yeah, I'll bottom this one. And now, with six cards in my hand, I begin the game. How sad is that? I'll play a planes, mm -hmm. and I'll pass the turn. All right, already winning. Already you winning. Play one. Draw, and I play a swamp, and pass the turn. All right. Look, just friendly magic, you know? Nothing. Just some friendly magic. I'll follow it up with the second planes, mm -hmm. daring, I know. And it's it's time to make up for my mulligan. I'll, I'll cast a squadron hawk. Uh, ooh, yeah, that resolves. And then I'll get a free ancestral recall. That's... A stretch, you say? <laughs> no, no. I mean, this also gets you a 1-1, one -one, so it's kind of better, right? Ancestral recall just goes in your... Yeah, um, well played. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, All right. Yeah. And I'll move to discard. Which card? 
This card? Yeah. No, I have seven cards in hand. Because I, I, how convenient. <laughs> how convenient to mulligan. Right. Okay, draw. Ugh. All right. Well, I guess that could be handy later. We'll play Kumbaya Witches. What do they do? Uh, they tap to deal one damage to any target and one damage to you. Close. They deal one damage to any target I choose and one damage to any target you choose. Oh, all right. Uh, I assume this will be you because I assume well, this is can... good deck building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I could choose the witches. Go ahead. I'll untap. Also called the Squadron Hawk Killer. Yeah. Pew, 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 pew. She, they truly are. She is? No. Is it multiple witches? They, yeah. They look at least two-ish. Um, that's, oh, that's very annoying against my Squadron Hawk. Against my army of Squadron Hawks. So this is basically like a counter spell to your recall? It takes a little. Kind of, yeah. And it also deals yourself some damage. Um, I will go with a Rafine's Informant, uh, which is a 2 mana 2 one and when it enters the battlefield, it connives. So I draw a card, then I discard a card, and if I discarded a non-land card, I put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Mm -hmm. Now, let me tell you, I have a bunch of non-land cards in my hand that kind of became useless. <laughs> mm. Ah, oh. Very good. You can just filter the Squadron Hog into something good. Yeah, exactly. That's good deck building, looks. That's good deck building right there. Yeah, I think I'll go with a Squadron, <laughs> the squadron Hog. Hogs? So now you just need to put them on the library again. You have yourself a loop. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Um, yeah, I'll attack with this one. I'll accept the damage, my lord. Down to 19 you go. Yes. Go ahead. All right, this is the point where we really need to draw a land. I mean, we have many, many lands. That was close. Mm. Knowing Toffle, it feels like you didn't draw a land. Yeah, you know me well. Um, nah, we drew a land. Mm. We were very skillful. And that's how you win in Magic. Being very skillful? Uh, I don't know if you play any protection stuff. But that's fine. It's actually no, it's not your turn. We're gonna ping the squadron hawk. Ding! I'll deal one damage to you. Ow. Down to eighteen. Eighteen. Second blood. And then we're gonna defile the informant. Just to play around some protection stuff, which might or might not happen. <laughs> like let's say you play what is this protection uh scry one or something? You mean God's willing? Mm, nice try. <laughs> this is not a god. <laughs> Chad, you're my witness. This is not a god. Well, I, I, I'm just reading the name here. Chad, you can prove me right. And now I have a decision. I can actually wait or smack myself in the face. Oh, please do the latter. Yeah. It depends on how... I think actually you're correct. I think we're gonna use the time off here that nothing is happening. Oh, Knight's Whisper? And cast a Knight's Whisper. Knight's Whisper. And go to 16. Third blood. Because we do want to hit our land drops. I, I don't think it's important to have like a window for this as of now. So I think we just use the mana and hopefully get some manas. Uh, pass the turn. All right, I'll untap, I'll take my draw. I really regret putting that land on the battle uh, on the bottom of my library at the start of the game. Yeah. But who could have guessed that? Like <laughs> between all the draws and the informant uh, looting, I didn't draw a third one either. Um, so now <laughs> I'm kind of stuck doing nothing. But I guess uh, you can cast more squadron and hawks. Uh, this card has a really high payoff. If I draw, if I do draw another land, or a medium payoff, not a really high, but a solid one to recover from those witches. So we'll, I'll try to do that. I'll cast another in format. Mm -hmm. Foolish you tapping this thing uh, yeah. during your turn. Okay. Uh, I'll draw a card and then I will That felt card. like a land sigh. Squadron hog. That felt like a land sigh? Yeah, it's like you, so you I, seemed happy. Is this a land? Mm. I, I'd like to play it as one, but um, as oh. it stands, I just have to pass it's the turn. Not a land? It's, it's not a land. Oh, that is so sad. It is. It would have been really good if it was a plains or any land for that matter. You know what's really sad? I feel with you. 
that 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 was the, not the sound of someone who feels with me. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I tried. Let me let me move. I feel with you, with mm, you. No, no Toffel, oh. you gotta try a little harder. But so I mean, friends of uh, being miserable, like making your opponent miserable. I kind of really want to do this. The question is, if I want to do this, nah, it's not that I'm not getting smacked. Well, like, this is also very good, right? This sounds terrible. <laughs> both, like, both options are outstanding. The good part about this is that we could next turn do those, which leads to a better thing. Uh, yeah, I, uh, we could also lose it, but it's fine. I think we, we, we're we abusing that you do have not enough mana and play a Thorn of the Black Rose. Oh, so you're... Which gives me the Monarch! The next best thing to the initiative, huh? Yes. Well, initiative is gone. This is Monarch. Um, do I have a Monarch? Uh, we do somewhere. Um... It's not prepared? It's it's not prepared. <sighs> Lousy folks. Okay. Uh, for now, in, I'm in the, the monarch. In the meantime, you're the monarch. You are. Okay. We'll do it like this. I'm the, the die monarch. Here. Um, Putting it there is kind of counterintuitive because you draw at the end of your turn. <laughs> yeah, but we know. <laughs> we know. It's fine, Topol. Right. And I will draw one for the monarch. All right. Um, Go ahead. Yeah. I'll untap. Let's see if I can find something. Hmm. All right. So Toffold's generating card advantage for days. Days is banned. Days is banned. Um, playing this is really awkward this turn uh, because of the witches. Playing these is fine. Witches? <laughs> Which is fine. Um... So I think, hmm, yeah, but the witches are going to stay here for a bit anyway, so I might as well get this going, and it, it does deal one point of damage to Toffel using it, so. Kumbaya, Manon. Um, attacking with the... Inspector doesn't make any sense unless I want to waste my entire turn for it. I'd rather develop my board. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play a Plains. Woohoo! Woo and I'm going to play a Lunark Veteran. That resolves. Um, I'll follow it up with a Thraben Inspector. Which you want me to kill the Veteran? I do. On the other side, it's also 1 1, right? The inspector? Mm, the, this one. Yeah, it is a 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Let's kill it. Oh, that deals one damage to you. I go to 15. Inspector enters the battlefield. I don't think we have clues. I, I was unprepared. I certainly think you don't have a clue. Do you have clues? Mm, no. Can you pass me a piece of paper in the meantime? Don't you have a piece of paper? I, I, I don't. I, I'm stuck on my <laughs> one piece of paper. I might need more later on, too. It's okay. So this is a clue. Mm. Clue. Oh. And then, since that was so nice, I'll play another one. Pretty good. And have two clues. Mm -hmm. I feel like I know where this game is going. Where? There's a bunch of clues everywhere. <laughs> you having the monarch, you having four lands, you have... Go ahead, it's your turn. All right, I'll untap. Skill, eh? Look Skill. At that. Oh god, that card is not good. Mm. Right, I mean, it's good enough. I also... So, we don't want to die, right? But we also want to live. I feel like everything starts with this. Another witch? Oh, man. We're Knights Whispering. Because oh. we don't draw enough cards. All right. I, do, I don't hate the sound of that, actually. Yeah. All right. Down to 13. Okay. Oh, very good. So we're going to play the land. 
which, which is a swamp. And it triggers, but I don't, like, it tries to trigger, but I have no... So the Witch's Cottage could put a creature card on top of your library, right? Yes. But we don't want to, so it's fine. And since I heard you really like your hand, I invite you to draw one of those again. Man, not making this discard is very annoying. You actually don't even have to make a decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. I mean, maybe I could manipulate my library somehow. Maybe. All right, and I draw for the Monarch. You do. And it's your turn. I'll untap. Mystery... Oh, damn it. <laughs> so, I've got multiple options here. Combat right now yeah. doesn't favor You're an attacking me. deck, Jamin. Try to attack. Uh, combat doesn't favor me all that much. The witch is also making it awkward, but I don't really get around any of it. Hmm. Don't be afraid. Puffle, I, I am. I kind of am. Arno would have attacked. Arno would have attacked. <laughs> Arno would not have mulliganed. <laughs> you, you see how it makes you feel the whole game? Just saying. Mm, that being said, I, I do think the time has come for attacking. Mm. So All right. Can I block? You may. Hmm. <sighs> I don't want to lose the Monarch. But there might be like lots of tricks you can play. Um, let's do... this. That, huh? I mean... Hmm. This way... I really like playing this card because it's better for future turns, to set up for future turns. But this one does have some, like, this one's pretty good right now. Makes for the better trades right away. So I'm gonna um, cast... Production oh. made you a clue. Production made me a clue. I've got a clue. Um, I'm going to cast a Guardian's Pledge, granting all of my creatures plus two plus two. All of my white creatures, which is all of them. Well, that is a card I haven't even played a limited. Well. Good for you. Thank you. <laughs> all right. So this is three, four, three, four. Yeah. So these trade because yeah. this has does have that touch. And this just does. Yeah. Aww. Look at my little trade inspectors go. Well inspected. <laughs> um, now that, of course, does eat up my entire turn, but I feel like, yeah, ah, it, I think this is a, an interesting decision point. Anyways, that's my turn. Go ahead. Good. I'm still the monarch. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. This is, uh... oh, well, that's good. That is good. Play a swamp. And then I kind of feel like we want to keep the board clean, right? I mean, who cares about what you're doing as long as I'm drawing cards? You might sacrifice a creature. Ding, 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 ding. And mm -hmm. since we were really sad that one of the witches were gone. Okay. Ding dong, the witch is alive again! Go ahead. All right, I'll untap. I'll take my draw. Right, I'll draw from the monarch. Oh yeah, you do. So... Given, like, I really want to do this because it gives me access to the Monarch. No. But... No, 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 no. Toffel does have instant speed interaction in his deck, which I assume. I play one Defile. Is that so? A single one. Anyways, um, I don't see... <laughs> uh -huh. uh, I don't see an easy other way to get back into this because the witches prevent me from playing the squadron hawk right like last turn at least we got rid of i got rid of this uh the other witches i don't see an easy way to get through anytime soon 
Uh, so I think I have to go for it, but... Broken is Monarch. Crazy. But at the same time, there's there's so little chance that Toffle doesn't have something. Have you only have lands, Toffle. So many lands. Look, Spain, Italy. Yeah, especially Europe. without especially without another land drop, I think I have to go for um, the journey to nowhere. Mm, yeah, which takes out your witches. It's gone. And then I'd like to head to combat. So you tell me I have to use a remove spell for the inspector. You do. Well, I will do that, even though it is that. Yeah. I'll cast down the inspector. Um, honestly, at this point, it's not le legendary yet. But if it hit you and like I got the monarch and would have gone on to win the game, it would have become legendary afterwards. I agree. Unfortunately, it died before. Unfortunately, it did. We're gonna have a short minute of silence. Chick, draw a swamp. And I feel like you're not pressuring me, so I'm doing whatever I want. I will <laughs> cast. A Gurmak Angler. Did I say I play a swamp? I didn't play a swamp. I don't swamp. think you did. No, I heard something in the swamp. Okay. And um, I will exile five cards, which is gonna be not the edict and not the right and not the witches. Uh, I'm just gonna put this here to exile. And then we're gonna play a swamp and a gray merchant. <laughs> oh. All right, at least the witches aren't there anymore. So this one only hits for three. Yeah. I'm Up to 16, 16, down to, to 17. 17. And I will draw from the Monarch. Talking about the Monarch, Toffel, we finally have a better representation of the Monarch. Ooh. May I deem you... Oh, wait. Oh, we can't... <laughs> what is this doing? Oh, the fresh crown. <laughs> All right. Toffel, now fully suited as the Monarch, I'll take my turn. I'll untap. I'll take my draw. Now... The good thing is there's no more witches. The bad thing is there's seven power on Toffel's board with him being the monarch having four cards in hand. I think it's about even. It's about even. I would <laughs> say so too. You have a win. I have a win. Um, so what I'm going to do is I have to develop my board somehow. And I'm going to do that by casting his core Skyfisher, mm -hmm. which lets me return a permanent I control to my hand. I'll choose this planes. Wow. Replay the planes. And then tap it again to disturb this veteran, which it turns into a 1-1 one, one Luminous Phantom. Whenever another creature you control leaves the battlefield, you gain one life. All right. So good luck with your removal. You're only giving me life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I felt like that should have been more threatening. No, no, it is great. Uh, draw. Beautiful. So I kind of feel like we're just putting the finishing moves. So we're going to attack. Yeah, I'm going to take that. Mm -hmm. Down to 10. And down to 10. And then I don't even care if you get the Monarch as of now, right? I mean, we're going to play a Swamp and play another Grey Merchant. All right, that one hits for 5, going down to 5. And I go to 21. You do. And then I trigger Monarch, and it's your turn. I need to give this a read. Yes. I'll untap. All right. Can you believe it, Toffel? I found a fourth plane. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, hmm. I can't even... I have to block a bunch of stuff. No, I don't. I'll I'll head into the red zone. No worries. Interesting. You may. I will accept this damage. Down to 18 you go. So my plan is just to make use of this card. Enjoy it while it lasts. Yeah, I will. I'll heavily enjoy this. Damn, I look good. 
<laughs> okay, we were part of this. <laughs> Go ahead, Toffel. We will have uh, some after hours. You do nothing. Oh, I, I, I draw a card. Of course I do something. Yeah, but you also do nothing. I don't. Okay. You are aware that you're dying, right? No. Oh, there's... Damn it. Can I take that back? No. No, damn it. Okay. Well... <laughs> You can take yeah. back all your permanence. Yeah, I can. Yeah. Well, the plan of prismatic stranding the attack was not executed. I mean, look at what you've done. You became the monarch and instantly died. Which <laughs> gives uh, you the clue that you shouldn't do what? Steal the monarch from... Uh, I shouldn't people. mulligan toffle. That's what I shouldn't do. Ah, exactly. He learned it. All right, uh, we're playing best of five, right, Tuffle? Yes. So, so two games without sideboard, three games with? That's exactly, to get a little bit more conclusion. So if you're uh, new to the format, this is feature match number two. Last week we had number one. We tried to keep Arna, but she said there's more important stuff. And I think it was sad losing. No, actually, last turn. Really. No, Arna, don't be fooled by Tuffle trash talking. <laughs> Arna will be with us next week again. Uh, when we're moving to YouTube, we're, we're going to move this stream to YouTube, so just be aware, subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, for the next one. Arna will be back. Uh, I feel like I, I have a fair share of competitive magic under my belt, but I, Arna, I mean, not a fair share. You're, you're holding up. Um, but Arna, I feel like Arna is probably a bunch better by, by a bit. He got lucky once or twice. <laughs> he got lucky once or twice winning the set championship. Uh, anyway, so uh, there, so you have uh, even better magic players in the studio next yes. week again. But every week, Tuesday oh. seven, you want to. Oh, ah! <laughs> I'd like to give you back your. No, your... that's actually your plane. Yeah. <laughs> that's my plane. <laughs> <laughs> what? Take a sideboard sleeve. I guess the sleever must have made a mistake. It wasn't me either. It was. It was you, Toffle. I. I, I think this is smart cards, and you get disqualified. Sorry. It is. All right, I'll take a sideboard sleeve. <laughs> wow. All right, I, I'm going to draw my hand and fight. <laughs> you start, right? Uh, I do. Uh, uh, um, looks good. That's not nothing I want to hear. I mean, we obviously have to play this. All right, um, my hand, this is juicy. This is like what I came here to play. This, of course, is a bit annoying, but um, the rest is all good. How about you, Toffel? Okay, uh, right, I said it's great. We do are a little bit slow, but I think we have one of the best cards and mana to cast it, so, I mean, never mulligan. Right? All right, let's go. Let's go. Ding. Oh, no. All right, draw. Uh, well, now actually the plans might change. I think this was the plan, but since we drew this, we can actually start off with this and go ahead. I think it's likely that we, we are not getting punished for this. All right. So, um, it's, this is kind of like, this is messing with our curve a bit, but given that we have these that's not too bad. It's it's a bit slow, but it's it's all right. I mean, I, I can I can grind a bit. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head into the red zone. Nineteen. And after putting you down to nineteen, I'll play planes and I'll cast a squadron hawk. Mm -hmm. Now my turn. It is. He remembered to trigger off his mm. card. But for hand size reasons, I will only get two hawks. Alright. Draw. Perfect. We'll play our favorite card. No, not the witches! Go ahead. Uh. The, the witches are very annoying, Topple. This is not what I signed up to do. Um... I can't even bluff the pump spell from last game. Because <laughs> you have no three mana? <laughs> um, Wait, you still... Oh, I, I don't even need to bluff it. 
What do you mean you don't need to? I mean, I can attack with this either way. I oh, thought this I... didn't have flying. It flies. Is it quite on hard? Are you just bluffing? Nah. Look, I don't know. I don't know nothing about your deck. Well, you had you bet. You better hit up card market inside because over there you can see our deck list. Mm. I think. One minute. <laughs> oh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> Attack. You're gonna tell me you have something that gets this to three. You know what? I would like to see. I mean, if you block, you learn more about my deck. Isn't that what we're all after? Information? Learning? I mean, you gotta play a lot of creatures. You play like Blacksmith or something? No, I'm gonna see. Hit me. All right. Uh, so oh, that's the nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, you blocked. Let me do all my mana. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take one and go to 18. Uh, this is so stupid, having played so much magic against each other. <laughs> it's like, you, can it's like you blocked. I'm going to punish you and make you afraid. Oh, I'm that's gonna, a very good play. I'm going to play a Squadron Hawk, mm -hmm. but because I'm going to play a Bounce Land, I won't get any other Squadron Hawks. What? I mean, I'm going to bounce. You have six cards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Reviewed viewers might have noticed that last turn I also had six <laughs> cards and didn't get the last hawk. Oh. <laughs> Did you board it out? Did we board already? Uh. Did you play great magic? Um, all right. I feel like I have to do this now. Yep. Last time you got punished for it. 17. Yeah, but now you can pump it. No, no, it's fine. And I will also make you sacrifice a creature. Well, I'll choose this Squadron Hawk. Don't mind if I do. I, I heard there are many more. Uh, go ahead. I'll untap and I'll draw. Now, with Toffle completely decimating my board, I do kind of have to think about how I want to rebuild. But I feel like now is a, uh, is a great time for this card because it kind of overloads the Witches. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to go with four mana. For a battle scrage. Mm -hmm. And then I get two tokens and then I tap the tokens and to get more. Oh. To get more. Oh yeah, okay. Well that's kinda why I played the edict. So I... first I put in two tokens and then I wanted to get to a board here where I don't need to ping every turn, but alright. Yeah, I played my land and it's your turn. So that's gonna deal me four each turn at least. You can cast a lot of edicts <laughs> to reduce yeah. the pain toffle. <laughs> um, <coughs> I'm going to play a suffocation fuel. Oh! <laughs> Which is. <laughs> yeah, wow. And I'm going to ping the trap instead. Yeah. That's just dirty. Magic is fun. Down you know? to 16, you go. Ah. <sighs> And it's your turn. All right. I'll untap. I'll draw. Wait, what happened with your board? Yeah, I don't know either, Toffle. I'm gonna... Um, I kind of want to build my board. I <laughs> heard <laughs> <laughs> that before. Yeah, last turn. Um... Now, I'm, I'm not sure how aggressive I want to be about building my board and how... I, I don't feel like I can outgrind Toffle, although... Yeah. Any, so any second the Monarch comes down, it, it, it's really important for me to be able to pressure Toffle. And the question is if this Skyfisher will bounce this Inspector or like a land for Tempo this turn. If you don't know which land to bounce, you can take the garrison. Yeah, you can take the, the garrison. <laughs> yeah. Seems like a great play. Um, but since I kind of just want to put as many creatures onto the battlefield as possible, I don't think the Skyfisher will bounce the Inspector. Yeah. Um, I'll play an Inspector. And then I will play a Skyfisher, which returns a Plains. And then I'll replay the Plains, casting a Squadron Hawk. Uh, now would be a good time to look for my final Squadron Hawk Toffle, but I'm not going to do it. Mm. It's crazy. Crazy. 
Uh, yeah, so that's my board for this turn, and it's your turn. So Jamin is kind of lucky that he played something. So I can't really play the Monarch. Mm, I could... And you could just grind you out. It's really hard to grind out Squadron Hawk, eh? Um, I mean, you've got the Witches. Yeah, yeah. Let's start by Knight's Whispering. 14. Knight. I'm, I'm whispering Knight. <laughs> Go ahead and drop the Grimaria's Tower. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Okay, and I think my best shot is to just try to set up all of this again. So let's ping the squadron hawk. Yep, it's dead. And I'll ping you. Defile this guy for sure. And China's addict. Oh player. my goodness! And then it's your turn. All right. So my entire board is gone again. Topple is down to thirteen off the witches, but. We play one of those player things and then remove them again, games. Yeah, this is really annoying. Um, and the worst thing is, right now, I can't set up a board with two creatures as it stands. But I might just have to get lucky. But it is... Always a good strategy, I tell yeah. you. Lots of the strategies. So I think... What I have to do is... Actually, there is another play I could do. I could do this and then this. And I actually think this is quite good. Because it works around the witches. But even if something happens, like I'm still not like completely lost. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, I'm going to play Squadron Hawk, which mm -hmm. I... Pulled out of thin air. I don't. I don't know where. I'll play a planes, mm -hmm. and I'll pass the turn. Oh wow! Whoops. Okay. I will draw. Hmm. I'm a little bit concerned about preventing damage, but I guess that's fine. So we do what we always do and start with Knight with Nice. Knights. Go to Down 12. To 11. You oh. forgot the ping. Ah, the, the ping left. from the witches, yes. 11. Draw. Draw. I mean, if you can't go to the witches, bring the bitches. Oh, <laughs> <I don't>. <laughs> <Witches>. <laughs> no, it's all nah, uh -uh. I did not say that. Uh -uh. I did not mean that. Um, <laughs> I did not. Just I, say any words that rhyme, Toffle. What could go wrong? No, I didn't even mean to rhyme. I just fumbled. Uh, you know what? I'm going to sign in blood. I did not do this. Down to nine. All right. Draw. <laughs> this is silly. And we're going to play one of the witches. All right. Uh, go ahead. Um, I feel like... This is now the, is a, the, the test. Yeah, now is a solid time to crack that clue. Double Witches is really... Actually, I didn't even realize until now. Double Witches is like locking out most of my creatures. Especially since uh, they enable a bunch of devotion. So I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna crack the clue at end of turn. I'll ping the hawk. Yeah, you will. One damage to you, down to eight. Eight. Draw the card off my clue, and I will untap and head into my turn. Alright, this is a start. Mm -hmm. This is a start, but it's not a great one. It's a better screech, but no other creature. Um, so I might just have to do this to try and find something else. Um, I'm going to play my planes, I'm going to, um, yeah, I think, I think I have to do this. I'm going to play a search party captain, mm -hmm. <laughs> which it costs one less for each creature I attacked with this turn. Okay. And when it enters the battlefield, I draw a card. So I'm going to do that. 
and then I'm going to play a core skyfisher, mm -hmm. which returns the planes to my hand. Yes. And then that's my turn because I already played a land. Ah. I cannot keep doing this. Okay. Um, well, I'm at eight, right? You are. Okay. I mean, this is kind of what it's going to be for the next two uh, things. We'll ping this, go to six. Yep. And then play a cottage, which returns nothing, and make you sacrifice your skyfisher. All right. And it's your turn. So this gave me a really... So Toffold's turn gave me a really nice setup for potentially drawing into stuff. So <laughs> okay, one, one time. I was, I was already afraid I was losing. One time. Ding. That's something Toffold. Oh, no. <laughs> I never top deck. Um, this is actually really good in multiple ways. Um, but we'll see how this goes. So you're tapped out, so I'm going to cast this informant. Mm -hmm. I'll draw a card, and then... You discard the strands. <sighs> Look at this. Strangergy. So, at the strangergies. Um... <sighs> a bit awkward, but also kind of necessary. And I guess I do have another clue lying around. Yeah, I'll discard the prismatic strands. Yes. And this gives my inspector a counter. Yeah. And then I'll play planes and do the old battle screech dance again. Oh, God, yes. Get two and tap everything to create two more, which are untapped. Right. Can I see the strands, please? Uh, you can. So prismatic okay. strands. So has... actually, I also don't get damage. Yeah, exactly. That's so good. prismatic uh, strands, I can flash it back by tapping an untapped white creature I control. Yes. And it prevents all damage of sources of a certain color during this turn. Yes. Likely naming black. But what you just said is that the witches then also don't do damage to you, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, that's my turn, by the way. All right. I think I really rarely do this, but I'm going to use my one time. Power. Oh, yeah. You never top that. No, no, I know. I, <laughs> I just, I feel like I need something really good. I mean, that certainly qualifies as probably the best draw of the deck. Nah, I think another fuse would have been better. But all right, uh, let's play a witch. All right. And then use uh, all of those to play the fleshly, f freshly drawn uh, gray version. Just gonna drain for eight. So yeah. I go to 14. 14 to 12. Nice. Okay. Um, and then it's your turn. All right. So we've got a few, I've got a few very good draws here and a few solid ones. Actually, am I losing? Hang on a second. Oh, yeah. No, no, it's fine. Yeah, yeah go all ahead. Right. I do have to play around this uh, pump spell a little, which... Uh... Okay, so Toffle put us, put me into kind of a tough spot. Um, first up, I'm going to cast the Thraden Inspector. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I assume you're not attacking with this ritual. This is not. Yeah. Um, so this has a second clue. I will oh, cast your last hand. Draw a card. Oh, yeah, go okay. ahead and crack one of those clues. Mm -hmm. And then I think I'm just in for a bit of a grindy game, which will be very annoying if Toffel has another Grey Merchant, because that just puts me dead on board. It's not annoying right now. <laughs> um, like, how do you beat three witches? No, three witches is kind of fine. It's not great, but what? it's kind of fine. Interesting. Anyways, I'll head into the red zone, I think. Okay. Using these four 
birdies. So, if I activate the witches now, and you play the plus two plus two, then I am not dead. I would be at one life. On the other side, if I accept the damage, you I would be on one life, right? No. Yeah. Either way. No, 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 no. Because you have to play the strands before this dissolves. So I would, I would ping a bird, then it gets plus. I would ping a bird in response. Yeah. Then you have to play the strands. So you go down to three. So two, because I take twelve. Oh yeah. And none of those do damage. Yeah. Yeah. So I would go down to two. Um, but now that's like I'm not blocking. I guess we can sprint jump there. Yeah, I'm not uh, pumping. You're, okay, so right now I have priority. If I accept priority, I take four. If I then do all the shooting, um, I'll took two extra damage. But I can't ensure that this doesn't happen. The question is, do I win over the board? The bo birds are next turn dead. Yeah, this just happens. Okay, I think the safest version is to take four and go to 10. Down to 10. Even though this might be unnecessary, but I think the other way losing is harder than him having a pledge. Is it a pledge? I think it's called, wait, let me read. Mm. Is this a bluff? Is this not? I don't well, know anymore. If you can read, because mm. that could also <laughs> struggle. Is, is the reading part a bluff? Can I read? <laughs> Maybe you just look at the pictures. Um, I'll play a core sky fisher. Yeah, sure. And I'll return this to Raymond Spectre. Yeah. It's important that I didn't play this before because otherwise Top could have maybe pinked the Inspector. Pinked the Inspector? No, no, no. Um, and then I'm going to play a Planes. Oh, you didn't have. Um, now the question is, do I crack the clue or do I deploy the inspector? I feel like a, another creature on the board, I guess it's fine-ish, especially if I draw the pump spell. And I mean, I've got a bunch of mana that I can, yeah, I can crack two clues and still cast the pledge. So I'm going to deploy the inspector again, mm -hmm. making a second clue, passing the turn. I'll ping a bird. I'll ping a second bird. Um, so you go down to nine. Second bird. I guess that doesn't change anything, does it? No, yeah. Down to eight. All right. So I really use this. <laughs> <laughs> How is he doing this? You're at 12? I'm at 12. 12. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I can't beat the... This is absurd. Did you top deck that? Yeah, all of wow. this. <laughs> like, this is all my draw set. No. Wow, yeah. Interesting. Otherwise, I probably would have gone with... I can't even sign a blood ride. Maybe I just get the monarch. Oh, the monarch I lose. No, I can't get the monarch. So I have to sign a blood. All right. Stick. Wow, pretty one-sided game so far. Like no, I think the game you had real shots. I mean, I drew like perfect three times mm. in a row. Oh, I mean, I can I can see that. That's true. It it just felt like you you could always like there was no difficulty yeah, no, in no, cleaning no. my clearing my board. Okay, so boarding. Uh, I'm looking at those things, and there might be a consideration for. The two spell bombs and the gas relic. So we have one of the fumes, an additional one, uh, extremely good <clears throat> against the tokens. There are unexpected fangs that give a plus one, plus one counter and lifelink, a plus one and a lifelink counter, which stays. And the spell bomb. So the spell bomb um, is not very good, but there are cases 
when you have a battle screech trigger, then you can exile the battle screech. So for example, if you have the veteran, right? Uh, that when you have a lifelink trigger, because otherwise, if you have a battle screech, you play it, you flashback it back, I don't get priority. But if there's a trigger happening, like whenever a creature enters the battlefield, you gain a life, then I can intervene because of the trigger by exiling the battle screech. And I feel like exiling battle screech is pretty big because a lot of the cards, like addicts, if I have them work horribly against token. So cards I could take out as an options are the edicts, the thorns. I think the rats aren't great. Spot removers should be fine. Skyfishers are annoying. Rats, rats. And then is the question, how good is Sign and Blood's Knights with Silver Combat? In the games we played, it felt pretty good. But also you kind of had like Squad and Hawk starts with where I feel like those are outstanding as you get up on cards and I have to get back on cards. Um, um, if, is, there any, if, is there any difference between China's Edict and Guest Verdict? I think the instant part is not super relevant. There's hardly any case where this makes the difference. Uh, and the flashback do seem if we play long games relevant. So I would say Geth's verdicts are definitely under edict. And I don't think the case with the spellboard happens too often. So we need to sideboard out three cards. And I'll just think the rats aren't good enough. I under draw under draw, maybe I can see sideboarding out one of the Knights Whispers and two rats. And be good with that. And it could be the case that you want all of those. Mm, maybe you want to do, maybe we just take out three rats like this. Because, like, if he plays all the creatures and the fires and cough, 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 core, skyfisher, then I don't want to cast three mana two twos that don't even like draw a card, anti draw a card. Yeah, all right, this is my board. And then we can still consider if we want gas verdict or near spell bombs, depending on the doors. And I don't see. Like Duras or other discards relevant. All right. So, against Topple, it seems really hard to stick a board for whatever reason. Like, every time I untap, my board's gone. Uh, so, let's do something about that. Loyal Cathar seems like a great answer, or not, not an answer, a threat. Uh, two mana, two, two, uh, that basically has Undying, where it returns as a two, one. Now, one toughness on the backside isn't great, but at least it's something to, um, you know, be rec recursive. Uh, in addition to that, the biggest threat so far seemed like the witches. Uh, they just dominate any board they're on, um, being re really mana efficient. So I want to bring in at least one unmake. Uh, and then, in my opinion, I have the choice between uh, another mana tithe and yet another unmake. Um, I really like the mana tithe on the play. Uh, it can fill out a curve nicely and most importantly also interact favorably against the witches, which is, uh, <laughs> which is very rare. Even though the card is only a common. Um, as for things I want to take out, uh, I certainly want to take out two prismatic strands because casting them for three mana is really inefficient when the only thing that, like, we're not interacting that much in combat. And if we are, it, it, it should rarely, like, be super efficient. And for two more cards, I don't really love Lunark Veteran. It's a one mana, one one, that's gonna run into the Witches a lot, and then also into any other creature. Uh, it also runs into the Fumes, and I don't want to play cards that trade negatively against Fumes and or Witches, or at least as few as possible. So, also Toffel already said, my best card is Battle Screech, and I feel like this card is just a very weak Battle Screech, and all the cards that Toffel has to deal with Battle Screech also deal with the Veteran. So I think for now, I'm going to go with one Unmake, in addition to the uh, Loyal Cathars and the Mana Tithe, and take out two Veterans uh, and two Prismatic Strands. If Loyal Cotars 
turn out to be very annoying, I might have to revisit the spell bombs. Mm. But for now, I don't know technically if they're coming. So that's fine. Must be nice to lose so you can start again. <laughs> Man, I'm playing for my tournament life here in this best of five. I'm playing live for my tournament live. Although this is not a tournament. If you were wondering, we were not hosting an entire tournament in our offices. <laughs> Sometimes they do. Sometimes we do. All right. Uh, Tafel, you already recognized it. I'm going to go first again. Mm -hmm. And take a look at my seven. I already love this. I love this a little less. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think this warrants a mulligan. Uh, seeing how game two played out, I think this is actually just fine. And I will keep it. So, looking at this hand. Now, hear me out. It looks like a mulligan. Right? But it also had a huge potential. And I think the key difference is this. If this wouldn't be here, then I think the card looks that the hand looks terrible. The question is now if we blank, it's gonna be tough. Also, this card is not very potent, right? Hmm. On the other side, our mulligans with those cards are very good. But also being on the draw and having this is kind of... I think our on the draw spot is pretty bad. Pretty bad. So I'm going to be inclined to say it's probably not a big difference. So I'm going to keep. All right. Surprise to everybody. <laughs> I talk myself into keeping. Go. All right. Draw. Go. Not having this. This is this is a hilarious draw, Tafel. I tell you, not having a one drop on turn one is Grand kind Hulk. of un unfortunate. Um, but it is what I signed up for when I boarded out Lunark Veterans. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm gonna have to cast something on turn two. Which, right now, there's no witch on the board. Witches might come down next turn. Um, I might want to gather more information. But I feel like, for now, this is the better card to cast. Although... Hmm. I think I'm gonna run with the squadron hawk i'll get myself two hawks and then that's your turn toffle all right booyah fed toffle what did you talk yourself into <laughs> look we had huge potential <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm going to do the reasonable thing and defile the throne. Yeah. And it's your turn. That's why I cast the hawk. Uh, so here, there's two hawks. This one goes to the graveyard. Yeah. I'll take my turn. Your hawks are amazing. My hawks are amazing. Now, this turn looks a bit different. Uh, there's a veteran involved and also a an informant, mm -hmm. which draws a card and then discards a card. You but go to 21. I do. You I do. do. Go right. ahead. Draw. Uh, well, we're gonna defile the veteran. Ah, oh, this is still a 2-1? Yeah, yeah, I yeah, discarded yeah. that. Go ahead. Then. Yeah, go ahead. I'll untap. I'll take my draw. All right, this uh, hand has turned out terribly, especially against... Uh, a one lander because I assume in a one lander there's like fumes or something lurking because that's just how you keep one landers. <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast two squadron hawks, mm -hmm. get the last one out of my deck, mm -hmm. gain two life, and attack you for one. So you're down to 19 mm -hmm. and I'm up at 23. Go ahead. All right, now would be a good time. 
and I accept it. Go. Which is all right. I'm gonna untap. I would appreciate if you cast something like a battle scourge. Hmm. All right. So this hand has turned out really badly, and we kind of have to just have to hope that Toffel doesn't draw a third land. So I'm gonna head into the red zone. I'm allowed to block? You are allowed to block, Toffel. Mm, I'll take that deal. Like I block the... You block? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, it does. Really? It does. Wow. Down to 17, you go. Is that a block, my friends? Uh, I'll disturb this veteran, yeah. turning it into a phantom. And I'll cast another Squadron Hawk mm -hmm. and play Boris Garrison. Go ahead. I'm at 17. You are. Oh, that's very healthy. I was a land. But it was not the right one. Mm. All right, uh, let's exile this. Yep. You go to 16. And play another, another witch. witch, huh? Go. That was one of the considerations. 16, right? Yeah. Yes. Why keep it makes sense? I mean, it doesn't look too good. We missed two land drops. Obviously, we were a bit uh, fortunate with him being on empty, but 16 seems like a stable, stable wave. All right, continuing with the trend of things to draw, I'll play planes and head into the red zone. 13. Go ahead. Oh, God, this is juicy. Draw. Mm, now... I feel like we should test the waters here. We're going to decide on what we're doing, but first we're going to ping this ground. I'll ping you. All right, I'll go to 12. So I don't feel that there's much. Do I have to be afraid? Let's say I, uh, I cast this, which might be uh, a lot of my turn, but I also want to progress. So we're going to sign in blood. Go to 10. Yep. And draw one, two. Play one of the swamps that I drew. Spider alert. And I think I'm fine. You go. I'll untap. I'll take my draw. I'll play planes mm -hmm. and head into the red zone. I'm going to ping one. Yep. Down to nine, you go. And then I go down to eight. Go ahead. Wow. Talk about just lay down and die. Yeah. That's kind of what I came here to do, Toffel. Uh, I'll play Swamp. I'm going to ping the Hawk. Yeah. And play a Merchant. I'll have to mana type that. <laughs> so you're on seven. I mean, it really doesn't matter. But yeah, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> not if you're good. Uh, I'm at seven? Yeah, you pinged uh, the hawk. Go! Alright, what do we need here? We need Thraidman Inspector into Core Skyfisher. Like, yeah, Thraidman Inspector, crack the clues, Core Skyfisher, return the Inspector, something like that. Just draw another mana tide or something. Alright, this is another start. Okay. Trigger on the stack. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Although, actually, I, <laughs> yeah. no, no, it's will, like, it will die. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. But I don't see you. Yeah, I don't <laughs> see me discarding a non land either. <laughs> Down to six, you go. Yeah. All right, I'll draw a card. I'll discard a card. And I'll cast a Loyal Cathar. Go ahead. Okay. I think I could not care less. Draw. We do our favorite thing in the world. Yeah. Where is it? Give it to me. I yeah. missed it. Nice. You're the monarch, Toffel. Ah! And off turn, draw a card. Yeah. Go. I'll untap. I'll play planes and pass the turn. I'm uh, not even bother pinging. Oh, that's also good. Uh, attack. No blocks. Yep. 22. Yes, go to 22. I think this just, I mean, pretty sure doing something 
leads to throwing the game, which is not very enjoyable. So I'm going to cast an Edict. Yeah, this one returns. rid of some cards. At the next end step, all right, so not, not, it's not yet back, but it will be yeah. back in just and a second. And then end draw. All right, go ahead. Oh. Friends, I just saw something. I realized it. This is great. Um, I'll play planes and pass the turn. Oh, that sounded like you drew something. Okay, we're going to try this because it's cool. I would like to play Unexpected Fangs on my Witches. Uh, sure. Oh, wow, yeah. That's that's pretty juicy. So now it has a plus one plus one counter. And, and it also has lifelink. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, ping this. Yeah, so you gain two life, but lose one. So you... Go to seven? Yeah. All right. So... Now we build ourselves a cool lifelink machine gun. Yeah. Uh, well, then we attack. Yep. Uh, you go down to 19. 19 and you go to 9. Yeah. Uh, and do so. <laughs> I don't even know what I do. Do I cast Grey Merchant just because I have way too many cards in hand? Uh, yeah, sure. Here. Trigger for seven. Yep. Go to sixteen. D down to twelve. 12. Sixteen. Trigger monarch. Go. Yep. Um I'll cast another Lawyer Clothar and Topple. Mm hmm Go ahead. Do you know that it's really hard to hold your hand because you have just too many cards? Yeah, I actually know that feeling. Yeah. Especially with the squadron hawks. Ooh, a swamp. Uh well, let's attack again. Um, do I have some block already? No, I'm at 12. Easy peasy. I'll take 5. Mm, no, I'll put a counter on the Martian. Alright, I'll go to 6 and you gain 5. Up to 21. Just because I need to get rid of the cards. 21, 5. Six, uh, 6 topple. You took 5. You took 7. I took 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Go to 6. Yes. Uh, end of turn. Draw a card. Yep. Go ahead. Hmm. All right, this might be lethal Tuffle. <laughs> I'll pass the turn. Actually, no Tuffle, why would I pass it? I'll attack. Block. Oh, this is a 2-2. Two, two. No, I'm not attacking. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Your life total? Six. Chip ding. Good games. I don't, I don't, I think land number 12 contributed the most to this game. <laughs> yeah. And you see, this is what happens when you have like questionable keeps, just trust, you know? Uh, yeah, that's how you, you might it. miss for two turns, but your opponent could have kept a bad hand and just don't Yeah, and anything. they might miss for seven turns. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wow, that was decisive for the mono black deck. Not a single game to be won. I think the second one was on paper yours, but like then I drew way too well. All right. Wait. Um, I would assume the matchup is kind of little bit less favorite for you uh, pre-board and then becomes a bit more terrible after boarding. Yeah. Actually, I think pre-board, like with battle screeches and stuff, I, I can't imagine it's too bad. Like, you can put up a pretty resilient board usually. It depends a lot if I have fumes. Yeah, I mean, how many fumes are in your deck? Uh, two in the main deck and one in the sideboard. Two is a bunch. Two is a lot. Okay, so um, that was the match for today. Uh, we went a little bit too hard to try something new, but... If you want to revisit the match, you can watch all the contents or many more contents yeah. on YouTube. You have more pop up coming up. We have, I mean, basically a video every day from shorts to gameplay to whatever. Please like, even though we're switching to YouTube next week, just yeah. like Twitch channel, it might come back, you know? <laughs> you know, you never know. But definitely go to the YouTube content, like and subscribe there. We're going to use a lot of the interaction on YouTube. Uh, the whatever it is, community feed? Is yeah, it yeah, like yeah. in the community feed, you'll find most of the updates. So, yeah, subscribe there so you stay tuned for next week's streams. As I said, next week, Arno will be replacing me, so maybe he'll have better keeps than I do. <laughs> <laughs> but, but definitely better draws. 
I mean, this was... This was uh, yeah, the, the final game was a bit... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the content there. If you'd like to see any format, uh, write on YouTube in the comments, write at the Twitter. Tag us on Twitter, tag Toffel on Twitter, tag me on Twitter. Yeah. You know where to find us. And thank you for watching. Yeah, with that being said, we'll see you on YouTube soon. Bye.